Happy 4th of July, America. Hey, guys. I know it's been a while since I did one of these, but uh, welcome back to Mic Drops. I'll do my best. If you guys would go ahead and uh, get down there and hit like and subscribe to MLTP, we'll go ahead and get down to it. I, uh, I hope that everyone out there in the good old U.S. of A. is uh, enjoying themselves and their holiday. I hope. I say I hope because I know that not everyone is able to, least of all myself. I think most of us probably know at least someone out there who, for whatever reason, uh, just can't enjoy our Independence Day. Some of us are imprisoned for arbitrary or even nonviolent crimes, enslaved to the system that works them for pennies and then marks them for life afterwards. Some of us are simply afraid that should we leave our homes, we'll be murdered by our own so-called protectors for the color of our skin or the t-shirt we're wearing. Some of us are mourning those who were already taken by tyranny. And some of us, some of us, no, too many of us, too many of us are like Breonna Taylor, Duncan Limp, and George Floyd. Too many of us are too dead to enjoy our Independence Day. Now, for reasons I hope are obvious, this took me a long time to come up with. With everything like it is, I felt like I needed to say something, and, uh... I had a fair idea of what I needed to say, just not how to say it. That was the whole thing altogether. Um, there's been so much happening, even just lately, that I didn't know where to start. The, uh, the fireworks helped. I don't know if you guys can hear them in the background or not, but... Uh, I kind of hate them now, but they helped me put things in perspective. Um, a couple of nights ago, I was sitting in here at my desk, where I am now, holding my head as I thought it over again and again, like, you know, what, how the hell do I do this? The problem is that this year was way more different than it normally is. It's, it's always a little lackluster. Like, in the previous years, I didn't fully enjoy the idea of an Independence Day, my jaded side was like, uh-huh, yeah, we're free. Um, I, but I've never, ever actually been afraid of July 4th before. And this year, it brought up a level of anxiety that I'm not typically familiar with, but uh, the fireworks took me back to a recent night that helped me understand it. I mean, what I was thinking about. It wasn't my first time to deal with gas or police or protesting or anything like that, but it was my first time that I had done it in proximity to this kind of holiday. I didn't have time to unpack it and put it away before the light shows began. Everything's been just one thing after another. Pops had gone off for weeks already, but not like the grand shows that were going down this weekend and uh, probably not even close to the ones that are going to go down tonight or are already starting out there. And uh, it was as I was listening to that that um, and the lights were flickering in the distance that I started to think of Tulsa. The police lights flashing, the canister popping all around us, the burn, the heaze, the chaos came back to me and then began, I began to consider um, why we were there. What had brought us there as uh, individuals, strangers united, and the people as a whole. I remember standing out there just knowing that people across the nation were, were doing this with us. And it was uplifting at the time. But now, but later, obviously, when I had a chance to start trying to think about it, you know, you start to think about the pressure and the level of outrage that had to exist to drive us to do something like that. And then you start, I started to think about what kind of pressure and outrage had driven our forefathers to create this nation in the first place. I, I had to wonder if this was us growing closer to it or if we were never further away. Um, I thought about the generation's worth of unjust government that had been upon us how it's grown and festered in the hands of an ever-strengthening oligarchy, wearing the mask of just democracy. I thought of how, in order to degrade our rights, they whittle down our options, our education, and drive us in any way they can. Throughout the whole of it, 
the pow the powerful <clears throat> throughout the whole of it the powerful have sought to divide us by anything under the sun by our skin by our religions or lack thereof by our philosophy by our politics by our class and even our age has been turned upon us and used to conquer not only those who are different than us but ourselves too i've heard it said that any wall you allow to protect your allow to protect you can also trap you just as quickly it could be one or the other and uh, i don't think it could be more apparent in this place we're at right now this nation has become a place that so many people can't feel safe in and now the leadership of that government has decided to begin scapegoating the very people who are the most strongly against the tyranny and division they so love the left are left are going after the tyranny hating boogaloo folk who by the way don't have half the kill streaks of the cops they don't have half the half of the kill streaks of the cops they don't even have half of half of half of it who's dangerous who's dangerous the right are taking swipes at the antif at the antifa groups and they're not even a real organized anything some of them are violent and i'm not cool with that some of them are not though and i'm fine with that i just don't like the use of force you know but they don't actually care about the differences. They just care about who they can scapegoat. And both sides are flinging the anarchist word around, trying to spread that volunteerists are dangerous to extremists. They'll really just say and do anything they want now. Like, anything they effing want is what's going to happen. Though this isn't the first time. They use this common tactic of theirs now, however, to attack the protests, which are for a group of extremely marginalized people who are out there demanding a very overdue just response and to divide us even further. It's all a game to them. We're a game to them. We will never be more than playing pieces, even that, to those who seek to rule others. It's just not in them. They knew that, though all those years ago when they broke free to form their own nation, but they ignored it. They did it anyways, and those who did not were followed by those who did. To steal a thought from our very own Max, um, this is not what our forefathers wanted for us when a group of domestic terrorists decided that they needed to end unjust taxes, police brutality, and a broken justice system. When they broke from tyranny near on two and a half centuries ago, they didn't expect us to build new and more terrible monsters. I can't imagine they would consent to all of this. I can't understand how anyone would consent to this. The truth is, none of us ever really did consent to this, and I refuse to pretend like I did. We are all individuals, and there is no government that will ever be able to govern us as such. No government has ever been able to resist stepping upon those that it governs. Governments make slaves of us, no matter their form. The end all of this is that there's only one thing I can really do at a time like this. And uh, Patrick, thanks dude, made that shine rather clear the other night. You know, I was, I was, it was just a night after I had started trying to think about how to put this together, what to say, what to do. It's nothing fancy, it's nothing new, it's not gonna be a real big shocker or surprise to anybody, but right here and now, I formally make my own personal declaration of individual independence. I do not, nor will I ever consent to governance. I will not comply. I can't tell the rest of you what to do, but I'm going to urge you not to, to comply as well. Let's re remake today, July 4th, and then go forward together as our own people, making our own decisions and our own destinies. Let's take a page from their book of tyranny and just say no to governance. Well, what does that mean, Mike? Well, it means taking back control of yourself. It means taking personal responsibility. It means building the things and doing the things that we would otherwise let our government handle with our own hands. It means turning our eyes from the federal arena and back towards our local communities. And I mean both people and issues. It means taking on hardships too, because the casting off the comfort of being ruled and breaking the illusion of safety, it's not easy, it's not simple, and it's not comfortable. 
We need to be committed to communicate and network, to teach and show people the things that we say we want. We all have our own ways and paths to reach our freedom, and we can strengthen those with each others by coming together in the way that only individuals can. It means exactly what it sounds like. It means no, and no means no. Consent either matters all the time or it never mattered at all. They can't eat us all, guys. They can't try, though, so be ready. Thanks, guys, for listening. If uh, you like what you hear, there's more of this where that came from. Hit the like, subscribe for more, leave your comments, and uh, even come join the Discord to discuss some individual voluntary freedom with us. Love y'all. Until then, be safe and be free.